took a lever at right in front. Who did? Beta female. Welcome to Ellesmere Island, up in the high Arctic of Canada. We've come here to film um, Arctic wolves. This is our headquarters, I suppose. On the left, we've got a tent with all the kit in it. On the right, we've got our living tent. This is our little kit room. With bits and bobs, camera lenses, old boots, spare food. Four tents, because it's always good to have a little bit of privacy if you're staying away for six weeks. So we've got rather spread out. <laughs> it doesn't look like we're getting along, but actually, um, it's fine. It's just nice to have a bit of space. Kieran chose this site, and um, he chose it because obviously it's near the wolf den. We're about um, a kilometre away from the wolf den here. But also because it's near a lovely stream, so we can get fresh water the whole time. So that's the back of our camp, and here's our lovely beach area, where we spend our days getting our Arctic tan. So this is our stakeout point. Smith at work. Nothing's happening, <laughs> as usual. Keep me updated on that, Mark. Those two white dots there are sleeping wolves. Slightly remote from the camp, another essential for any kind of camp life, which is the toilet. It's got a fantastic view, actually. You see the sea ice out there and the river and the tundra. Um, I suppose the only thing that's on your mind a little bit when you're using this is, is this the time when the wolves are going to come back into camp? Ah! No, mate, no, no, you're right. Carbonara mix. <laughs> you take this brown goop. Yeah, I got it. And it's an unformed amorphous blob, as all can see. But a moment in my hands, and oh, it is, is magically a... transformed oh, into what you would call in Lebanon a bull. A waffle. <laughs> Bowls removal service. All right, and that's not mold anymore. All right, so we have our first balls of falafel coming out. Oh my god, look at the balls. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> look at the balls. How do you think it went, the uh, falafel making? I just think the Italian pasta sauce is not the best sauce. What? <laughs> falafel. Cut! <laughs> Welcome to the 18 hourly Arctic hair lactation sequence shoot. Every 18 hours, she comes in to this stone and uh, provides her leverets with milk. They're all gathering already, so we know it's going to happen soon. But it's almost like clockwork. Tremendous excitement here. In anticipation. Crowds are gathering. Crowds are gathering. I think it's gone to her head, really. 
not the same hair she used to be. No, before. Yeah. Before she was <laughs> famous. following alpha female around. I've done about half a tank of fuel and we've covered I don't know how many miles and she's just trotted off. But, um, we're absolutely exhausted now so we go to bed. End of a day. That's it's basically smart what, hands. That's what it looks like. <laughs> it's like snot, blood, dirt, <laughs> everything you can possibly think. We cannot get our hands clean in this place. It's just a dust bowl. This is what happens when you let a producer drive a quad bike. This mud is like thick concrete. I mean, you cannot pull out your legs from there. I can set up a, a lapse time if you want. What have we seen? Nothing. Negative, we are not with the dogs. This is all in a day's work for a wildlife camera team. 